welcome everybody back to another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. Now, I I love this game. This is so cool. This is me. Uh, obviously, the DeLorean's not me because I can't afford a DeLorean, but this is so me. Uh, right, so our project, we had Crazy Cola World last time, and that was doing pretty well. But we, uh, we have some research. Uh, we can develop a new game. So if we develop the new game and we look at platforms, we have now got the Nintendo. Uh, I think that's what it is. The Nintendo TES. A TES. Uh, so genre unknown. Um, it's got a really good, like a high dev cost. Plus I've got to pay like 80,000 for the rights to use it. But apparently it's going really good. And I'm, I know you can't see me, but I'm ear quoting uh, really good. So uh we'll we'll have a look and we'll we'll see how we go so we'll go to the test and then do you want to pay eighty thousand to license yes i do boom hey guys uh just popping in to see if you guys haven't subscribed yet to click subscribe if you have subscribed chuck us a like and a comment and let us know how we go all right let's get back to the video that's a lot of money uh right pick topic what have we got we have got I reckon for that kind of game, we would want a rhythm game and we'll call it strategy, maybe, and then game engine one. Okay. Cost is going to be 40 next. Uh, it's going to be a 2d graphic next. Oh, wait, wait. Following the massive success of the TES console, there are now rumors calculating that Vena, another Vena. <laughs> funny another japanese company is planning to release a home gaming console of their own i just paid eighty thousand for that though <sighs> okay cool uh right here we go so we have got uh what do we want we want gameplay stories and quests and maybe the engine right so we keep going with that boom 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 a few bugs in that one design technology all right oh i didn't name the game again Dialogues, we're going to have zero dialogues. Levels, artificial intelligence. We might drop that to halfway. Game design, yes, please. Game off the market. Cola World is now off the market. It did pretty well, I think. Uh, development stage for game six. World design, uh, I will put that to here. Graphics, yes, sound that. We're going to put it all into graphics. Got a few bugs. I'm doing some research. Come on. How are we going? Finish? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, sorry. I haven't played for a week, so um, I forgot about the bugs. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsies. Uh, we'll name that. We'll call it um, uh, P P -A -N -I -O, Piano Hero. Ooh. True, true. Uh, seven out of seven. Okay. Well, let's... <sighs> Uh, yeah sure let's release the game we're gonna lose fans aren't i <sighs> it's like the sega master system that's very cool awesome cool how's this going the first reviews of our game piano hero has come in oh dear lord no a one <gasps> too many bugs oh no okay i should have i should have just got rid of it damn it that's all right you win some, you lose some. Oh my god. One, one, two. What's this one? One. Yeah. Not worth a statement. Oof. That is a hard blow to the to the Oh no, but people brought it. Not a hell of a lot of people though. Ooh. Uh right. Let's go research and then we'll uh we'll go research down here and we'll have a look at new topics. Oh, game tutorials. Okay. Uh Let's go new topic and maybe we go <laughs> a game dev game dance game spy business uh we've got the superheroes we've got these ones don't know about these ones just yet maybe a game dev game here we go and we'll do i uh, know we were gonna do that start research right and then we need can we do more research now we gotta wait for it to be researched okay yes okay cool and then let's do the next one research and we'll do game tutorials research awesome <laughs> piano hero sales <laughs> not very not very likely okay oh uh, no okay we got we got this we got this 
We can make another one. You just researched your first engine part. You are able to use this in the game to create a new engine, which included in this part. All right, cool. So if we go here, click develop new game, we're going to go platform. We're going to do the, okay. Yep. We're going to do that again. Game engine. Uh, we're going to call it an RPG and we're going to go superheroes and we're going to call it, um, night in the forest. Oh, good. Forest. Oh. Forest. Look, uh, night in the bush. <laughs> night in the bush. Right. My spelling is horrible. Night in the bush. Right. Next, we're going to call it a 2D graphic adventure. Start development. Go. You got this. Okay. So we definitely want stories and quests. The engine can stay at halfway. Gameplay can stay at halfway. Stories and quests a little bit higher. Cool. Got a few bugs. Today, the new platform Master 5 by Vienna now has been released. Okay. Piano Hero was off the market. Sad, sad Piano Hero. Successfully done that. And I have successfully done that. Awesome. Uh, cool. So dialogues. We definitely need some dialogues. Level design, artificial intelligence. Dialogues. We'll go halfway. There we go. And then, okay, we've got some more design, which is fine. Technology. Yeah, come on. Come on. The recent release game console is stirring up the market worldwide. Industry experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America, but that it will flourish in other parts of the world. All right. Uh, okay, so sound. We got sound down a bit. We're going to do basic sound yeah basic sound world design we're going to put that up sound we're going to have down awesome keep going so we're going that 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 12 13 oh nice and then we're waiting for bugs to be finished good bugs good bugs awesome oh you can get more technology if i leave him going does he just keep getting more no finish awesome night in the bush new combo okay we get a 1.3 bonus that's cool how are we going with okay yep cool we'll release the game let's hope it's a slam dunk oh i see a 10 i see a 10 i don't see a 10 all right i see a 10 come on 10 oh it's an 8 well that's all right i see a 10 go back to 10 Oh, no, 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 don't go lower. Yep, seven. Lovely. And seven. Yes. I need some money. Awesome. So, ooh, yeah. Not in the bush. Awesome. Sure. <laughs> go, night in the bush. You're doing so well. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's done quite a few. I've got a few more fans out of it. Lovely. Ooh, a lot more fans out of it. That's that's higher than my sub count. Uh, and saying that, if you haven't subbed, check us check us a sub and then then pop us a comment and you know just just enjoy it. Anyway, uh, right, new research. Uh, casual games. Awesome. Well, let's maybe put some research into that casual game. Target audience casual games. Maybe we'll do target audience. Do that. Recent market data shows that the G64 seems to be slowly losing market shares against other PC manufacturers. Okay. In an unofficial statement, it was said that the company has been unsuccessful to introduce higher priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. I know. It's like I'm from the future or something. Ooh. Okay. And this is over the year? Yeah, I think it is. You have successfully researched target audience. Oh yeah. Uh, can we research anything else for nine? We cannot. Let's make, let's create a custom engine. All right. So game tutorials, we could do that or linear story, or we could just up the graphics. Actually we could do, oh, I see. So the game engine is all, okay. We'll just do all of them. Perfect.
and keep going. We're researching Game Engine 2, which I should have named. Good God. Anyway, can I rename it? Can I name it now? Ooh, Nintendo has announced that it will be introducing a portable gaming console called Game Link. <laughs> That's so funny. The device comes with a changeable game cartridge and a monochrome speaker. I mean, screen on a green background, built-in speakers and even multiplayer support via connection cable. That's pretty good. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the Gameling is underpowered, but given the low cost and excellent portability, yep, I, I bet you that'll hit the shelves and it'll fly out the door. Ooh, invest over 100K in a new game engine. Game engine two is now complete. I wish I'd named it better. That's all right. Uh, let's go research and let's do mono sound. Sure. Research mono sound. Okay. We also need to make a new game. Oh, we can't. Never mind. Go. Go, my little researcher dude. Oh, it's been released. I don't think I'm going to have enough money to release a game on it, but cool. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Uh, develop a new game. You can now specify what your main target audience is for your game. Games can be targeted at young people, at everyone, or at more mature audiences. Picking the right target audience for your game is important. Your target platform can also play a role. Some platforms are especially, especially popular with specific audiences. Ah, okay, right. So let's, how much do we need? We need 50,000, we could, we could do that. Okay, and then we could do, uh, we could call it, uh, Pokemon, Pokemon, yeah, cool. And then we call that, we call it Virtual Pets, lovely. We call it an adventure, and we'll put Gameling Two on it, and it's for everyone. Young Pokemon, yeah, sure. Next, right, we're gonna have graphics too. I don't have enough money. Uh, yep, sure. Oh my God, I'm in the negative. Your bank account is a red. Thankfully, your bank has enabled you to overdraft your account up to 50k. Be careful if your account balance is below, you will go bankrupt. Oh no! Okay, do it fast. Right, stories, engine, gameplay. All right, so we're going to, are we going to balance this out? They're all balanced, even if I do that, right? They're all going to be balanced. Story quest lines, right? Gameplay, that can stay at the middle. Engine, maybe a little bit better. Okay, here we go. Go virtual pet adventure, Pokemon. Oh, this is not good. While generating game reports, you start to gain insights into the development process and learn about what works well and what doesn't work so well. These insights are shown as hints in the development. Okay, cool. Thanks, tutorial. The hints range from blah, 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 blah. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Dialogue. We don't really need a good dialogue, but we do need the other ones. So, okay. Because Pokemon just, you know, Pokemon just plays itself. You just jump in there and you catch all the Bokes, all the Pokemons. You know, I'm calling them Bokes now. And sounds, we're not too worried about the sounds. That's totally fine. Uh, we're going to take away basic sounds and we're going to keep graphics and world design. All right. So, keep going. Keep it going. We want to get in the 11s. Bugs. And then did you did you research anything else? Yes, you did. Growing audience. Yep, cool magazine. Awesome. New marketing research. Awesome. Finish. Finish Pokemon. Okay. Okay, okay. We good. Right. What did we get? What did we get? We haven't leveled all we did in graphics. That's pretty good. Release the game. I need money very quickly. Okay, cool. It came in. Oh, a nine? No nine. Oh nine. Nine. Oh, three. Not much fun. It's Pokemon. Come on. Game Hero. Okay. Not bad. All right. Let's see how the people like it. Go. So they sold in their first month 8K. Oh, I'm back in the. That's good. I'm back in the green. Oh. Well, apparently Pokemon didn't do very well. Uh, yeah. It's 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 no it's no fight in the bush all right okay what about ooh, if you have more than a million million in cash you're able to move to the next level this sounds 
Might sound a lot, but don't worry. Once you release a hit game, you'll get this amount easily. <gasps> I used to have one of these. Uh, cool. Awesome. Oh, it's Vega. It's in Sega. I get ya. Spokesperson said, unlike uh, some of the devices, Vega. <laughs> Vega gear. Awesome. Love it. Cool. Come on. Can I re-release Pokemon? Like Pokemon 2? It'll be because I didn't have any money. Uh, let's go develop new game. Let's go that it's for everyone. Let's call it Pokemon The Return. <laughs> uh, let's do... It's a virtual pet and it's an action... It's a simulator game. Sure. And we're going to do it for that one. And we're going to pick this one. We're going to go next. We're going to give it graphics too. That's a lot of money. Let's stay with maybe version one. All right. Story and quests. They can be in the middle. Gameplay can be up. Engine can be up. Right. Carry on. Got more technology. Design. Design's going up. That's pretty good. Uh, dialogues can stay kind of here. Artificial intelligence maybe come down. Level design good. All right. Let's let's shuffle it around. All right. Yes. Mm. Uh, today the new uh, Vega Gear by Vega was released. Okay. Okay. And then one more. Awesome. So we're going to put basic sound in because we've got some money. And then we'll just put the sound up a little bit. World design. Bring that down. Graphics. Level 3 graphics. Come on. Let's actually drop that down. Put world design Okay, keep going. Keep going. Oh, this might be a, a hit wonder. Pokemon the return. Let's go bugs. Oh, we got a design. Yes, and we got technology. I think that's our best one yet. Virtual pet simulation. Woo, new record. <laughs> oh, and I leveled up. Level design, artificial intelligence, and world design. Pretty good. Let's release the game. Is this going to be our... Oh, level editor. Cool. Is this going to be our smash hit wonder? Okay, let's see what Pokemon the return... Oh, dear Lord, no. Fun at stages. Okay. Oh, come on. Well, at least it's better than Pokemon. <laughs> Could be better. You gave it a six. Okay, cool. Well, let's see what the people think. Uh, a few more, few more sales than than the original Pokemon. Uh, we we got some money in, which is nice. In two months, the GA will be taken off the market. Oof! What a sadness. Pokemon the Return. I should have been. I should have been like, Pokemon Blue, and Pokemon Red. Uh, right. We made a little bit of money, which is lovely. We can do some more research. Casual games, open world. Let's start the research for open world. And oh, let's make Skurim. Has filed for bankruptcy. Oh no. Failed to introduce a higher price alternative and was forced to shut. Okay. Well, we're gonna do open world and then we'll do Skurim. Skim? skim or maybe ground room oh yeah ground room sounds great okay let's develop a game let's say it's called ground room yes it's for mature audiences we're going to do it on the platform of the pc we're going to do it's an rpg with i don't have it <sighs> i need to hold up hold your horses Let's do some research. Let's do a new topic. Uh, what have we got? Thief, spy, business. Maybe th thief? Spy. Let's do spy. Research. How... How do you... How do you get different ones? I guess it's just as time goes by. Alright. And then let's go research again. We don't have 10. That's fine. Okay, let's try 
another game to mature. We're going to call it Ground Rim. Oh, Hound Rim. Hound Rim. Sure. I like that. It's, it's a spy. Uh, it's a RPG. Ooh, or is it an action? No, it's an RPG. Uh, we're going to do it on the PC and we're going to use Game Engine 2. Next, we're going to use high powered graphics. Start development. We got this. Hound Room is going to be amazing, by the way. Uh, gameplay, yes. Stories, we're going to use game tutorials in there and we're going to do a linear story as well. Okay, so story and quests, we'll just make that a little bit lower. Gameplay, fine. Engine, just bring that down a tiny bit. There we go. Okay, you got this. Technology, lovely. Ooh, this, ooh, this is going good. Okay, dialogues. Dialogues don't have to always be the, yeah. Artif if we're thinking of Skyrim, right? That was horribly bad with their artificial intelligence, but that's all right. We can go there and then we can go level design and we can do it again. Awesome. Oh, that gave it a nine. I think, what was my score before? 17. Okay, sounds were bad. Uh, graphics definitely need more and world design, yes. Okay, come on, we got this. Steve uh, reported for Planet GG. Heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you like to be given an interview? Give interview. Okay, great. Thank you for your time. Wait, I didn't say anything. Okay. <clears throat> you got this. You got this. According to the interview, the company is working on its first target targeted at mature players. Cola, owner and CEO of Cola Gaming Cola Co. We think the players are looking for more mature content in the games and we will be willing to take the risk to give it to them. Uh, many industry experts say the sooner or later games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market reacts to these games. Okay. Developing a game is not the only recipe for success. It is essential to build hype to ensure the players are excited about your game. Uh, hype is mostly generated through random events. Yep, cool. Okay. Ooh, okay. Ooh, there's nine bugs. You know, I could press fi uh, finish right now and it would be probably just like Skyrim with the amount of bugs that's in it, but I'm going to do mine better. Okay. Did we, did we get anything out of that? No, hype. Okay, cool. Finish. Ooh, 17 and 17. That's pretty good. New record on this side, I think. Oh, and that side as well. Nice. All right. Engine got to level up. Actually, everything got to level up. Which is awesome. I got to level up. Great. All right. Release the game. Cool. Go. All right. We're going to do some research while we... Um... Zombies. Oh, look. Yes, definitely want a zombie game. Have to do mature audience one again. Released. Came in. Okay. What is it? 10? Yeah! <laughs> awesome! 10? Yeah! RPGs work well on PC? They do! Yep, 10. They focused on level design, served this game well. This might be my million dollar thing. Ooh, 9. Good game, okay. Alright, how did the sales come in? Come on. Whoa, look at the units of sale! Houndrum has achieved a company sale record with over 100 units, 100k units sold. Excuse my phone. Uh, this is an important milestone for the history of gaming with cola. Congratulations, you've made quite a name for yourself and have saved up a lot of capital. Ah, oh, I did a million. Nice. If you want to grow the company further, when then moving into a new office is the next step. I found the perfect office situated in the technology park. Would you like to move into it? Next level. Move for 100k? Sure. I should have wait. Oh no, it's still going. Welcome to your new offices. It's just me here though. Anyway, uh, now that you're a big office, you can also hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make the games even better. Oh, you now may also train yourself and your staff to improve skills. Let's try this by completing a management course. Now I want to know what happens with this. Give me more money. Uh, to, uh, to get started, close this message and click on your character to bring up the training menu. No, 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 no. I want to find out how much money I get. <gasps> Half a mil. I feel like, I feel like Skyrim right now, but it's Houndrim. Good. Good. According to the market research and the recently published game, Houndrim is a surprise hit with players. The developer, the gaming Cola Co. is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for them to 
they develop oh, they, what they develop next great <sighs> okay so uh train what are we gonna staff management box game dev gems uh make me think game design for pirates hmm, okay uh don't repeat yourself code incomplete um right staff management that's zero but it costs a little bit of money game dev gems start training what the heck oh decrypt message this is a very special offer our agents have recently managed to borrow some research information which might be of interest to you if you are interested then transfer 33k to the enclosed uplink location we'll contact you agent blowfish <laughs> agent blowfish totally fine uh i'm gonna decline on that one thank you sir shall we fill this position you have to complete the staff management training first oh of course i have oh 2.7 mil hound room was awesome uh okay when how how long is it taking you to finish i gained four thousand fans that was pretty good what do you guys think do you reckon we keep going maybe we make uh, maybe give me some suggestions of some cool game names and we'll try and make it like i'm gonna try a zombie one next so you guys jump in the comments give me a zombie game name and i'll use it okay and we'll put it in there oh another the vega <laughs> vega oasis comes with 16 bit graphics okay so gonna leave it there we have three million in cash that's pretty good and you guys give me a name down the bottom and we'll go from there next video and i hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one enjoy what you were doing while you were watching or listening this listening this listening to this and uh, i'll see you in the next one